Hiya. My name's David. The Tilty Hat Wandering Ponderer. I'm out on a lunchtime prowl. Well, it's not really a prowl. It's more a uh, get it out, out of the way walk before all the rain, which is over there, and you can actually see it falling. not too bright this week as far as weather goes and uh, so not many filming opportunities for me unfortunately but I'm off to see a tree that uh, is doomed if the new quarry gets the okay so I want maybe one of the last time chances that we get to sort of see this tree, which is a sad thing. Lots of sad things at the moment. But like I've said before, there are good things on the horizon and uh, that horizon is getting nearer we can see from here if I zoom in just over there that's a little bit of the river that's winding down down that way it goes onwards and upwards as they say that's the vineyard over there I must get to this tree I can see the tree from here Just right over there in the distance. There she is. And we have a fair old way to go yet. It was spitting down with rain for a little bit, so I had to uh, change the uh, changed the plan but I'm still heading for the tree and hopefully see this beautiful tree that sadly is soon to go if big business gets its way ah oh. So I hope you had a good good week and I hope you mums got spoiled. If you didn't get spoiled then you should be spoiled this week. That's what I say. Oh, 
It's a Cyberman. He's an off-duty Cyberman out taking his cyber dog for a walk. David encounters a Cyberman on his walk. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I can see her. She's here. And she is lovely. She's a beautiful tree. Look at that. It's a lovely ancient tree. And uh, beautiful. This is the tree. Clouds are doing their thing. Look at that, that sawtooth pattern. <laughs> when all's said and done, Coggeshall is a lovely town. It's a lovely place to live. We've got so much variety here. Lots of wildlife, lots of places to walk. And uh, got some nice businesses. Coggeshall is my kind of town, as Frank Sinatra would say. But you can't put those words in a song, can you? My kind of town, Coggeshall is, it sort of doesn't have that ring to it. A lot of people are suffering from mental health issues and the, the, the lockdown has, in a way, emphasised the problems. And most people's behaviour can be put down to depression. The way a lot of people behave and even the stupidity. Mental health issues. If you're suffering, if you are suffering from any form of mental health issue, any mental problem getting out out in the wild um, Mark's Hall will be open soon it's going to open uh, I think on the 18th of March something like that so 
we've got a nice area there which is ideal for a bit of natural therapy. And if you can't make that, you've got places like this. And wherever you live, if you've got open fields and woods, woodland, anywhere, rivers, go for a walk. Get, get back touch in touch with your natural surroundings. It's all very well living in a town. Get out in the countryside if you can. If not, your local park. There's lots of nice local parks. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to have to write some music for some of this stuff. I have been going through a little bit of a grie grieving situation, which is strange because my father died 30 odd years ago, something like that. And uh, it's taken all that time to come to the surface in a um, in a big way for me because oh, let's change that that's it getting sun flare in the lens grief can take ages years to complete its journey in your life and even then it doesn't go away and if grief in your life doesn't have a chance doesn't have the opportunity to be expressed it will just sit in a corner you won't know and then one day like a wild animal if you leave the door open it will come come out and that's what happened to me and if you are grieving I I'd just like to say I'm sorry for your loss I know how it feels well that's gonna be it for me if you've got this far on, with me on my journey, we've seen the tree. I'd just like to say that thank you for watching. And if you'd like to do me a favor and subscribe on YouTube, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. So I'd like to say thank you, stay safe.